Once again, I apologize for all the overacting, but yeah, that is some straight up nonsense right there, ladies and gentlemen. That is ridiculous. So let's just continue on with the storyline. I mean, we'll get another shot at the World Heavyweight title once again. That, that was just ridiculous, the way that ended. That's just, ugh, so stupid. But let's just go on to the next bit of the storyline. A very special story. Eugene, of Tag course. Tag Team Champions, like the Heart Foundation. Or the Legion of Doom. Yes, yes, Eugene. Or, or Chuck and yes, Billy. Yes, Eugene, <laughs> that's right, just like the Eugene. Now that's enough. If you're going to be a champion, you've got to start behaving like one. Hey, am I interrupting something? No, no, not at all. Young Master Eugene here was just getting a wee bit overexcited about our recent World Tag Team title victory. Isn't that right, Eugene? Yeah, congratulations. I hear you got a title defense against Edge and Christian at Taboo Tuesday. Good luck with that. And to you as well in your match against Christian tonight. He's more of a pillock than ever, now that he and Edge have reunited. No kidding. Watch yourself out there tonight against Edge. Bye-bye! Bye, Eugene. Like Nikolai Volkov and, and, and the Iron Sheik, I ran number one. USA, ah, to it! Uh, William Regal and Eugene. You guys remember Eugene? See, I never really minded the Eugene character. I actually kind of liked the Eugene character. I mean... And I'm not trying, I, I know that they weren't trying to like downplay any stuff with like, you know, having a special disability, you know, I mean, for, I mean, for the most part, I thought that they handled the Eugene character very well. Well, about as well as WWE could have handled it. Wait a minute, didn't I just hear this theme? He stole my, he's even coming out to the same entrance that I'm coming out to. What a rip off. In the darkness, I will take you to the other side. I'm sorry, this scene is just amazing. All right, me and Christian one on one. He's trying to punch me already. Okay, I see how it is, Christian. Uh, I, I really want to try and include some more grapples like that, you know, into my matches so you guys can see like the more, the different variety of moves that you could do in this game. Cause there was a lot of cool stuff that you could do. All right, Northern Lights suplex. And of course we'll kick out at one. All right, let me try. Mm, can't even put the grapple up now. Up, oh, back suplex. There's different variations of like the love one move such as the back suplex. So I like seeing like all the different animations. And again, this took probably a long time especially to put like all the moves into the game. So, yeah, credit to THQ and, like, all those guys for making, like, like a lot of these, like, fun games. You know, I haven't played, like, the newer WWE 2K games. If you guys would like to see me play that one day, let me know down below in the comments. But I don't know. I just, I haven't really played, like, a full, like, kind of, like, the newer games since, like, WWE 12. Like, I have not touched, like, any of the 2K games. I mean, I've seen, like, footage of it, but I haven't, like, you know, uh, played it. So, again, if you guys would like to see stuff like that, just let me know, and I'll try my best to get to it. I'll probably wait till 2K19. up. Oh, my TV went out again. Of course it did. But, yeah. I'll probably wait till 2K19 to, uh, to maybe give the 2K games a try. Fisherman suplex. He is still in like full health. It's been like well, it's been like three minutes into the match. He's already in full. He's still in full health. So come on now. Snap suplex. Oh my goodness. Come on. Will you take some damage, Christian? Come on. Hit the dragon rana. Yes! Nailed it. Very nicely done. And of course the ref takes forever to get there. Two. Sweet. Or no, I'm sorry, it's too smart. Get it? Because we're part of the count out club for life. Because all we do is win by count out. Uh oh, Hurricane Rana from the top row. Very nicely done. Kick to the gut. CJO. Boom. Run over. Cover him. Count it, ref. One, two. Got him. Later that night. Okay, so obviously there's going to be a cutscene between. Edge and William Regal, uh-oh, setting up for the spear. 
Got him. That's it. Uh oh. She's distracting Eugene. That's the mission I used to do. And no good edges using the ropes. The ref doesn't see it. And damn it, neither does Eugene. Eugene's completely distracted as usual. But this is one time I don't blame him. The match is over. What's Edge trying to prove here? Isn't it obvious, JR? Edge is trying to soften up William Regal for their tag team championship match at Taboo Tuesday. you have to be to take advantage of poor Yuji. There you go, JR. He broke the hold. What are you so upset about? Yeah, he broke the damn hold, but he might have broken Regal's back. All's fair in love and title chases, JR. So, despite the injury to William Regal, the tag titles will be on the line tomorrow night at Taboo Tuesday. Forgot to show you this. Well, let me actually show you guys a little bit of my uh, locker room. And just kind of show you a little bit around. I, I think I didn't have time to do this at the beginning, but let me guys show you a little bit of what my locker room looks like. I could probably change it uh, once we do the SmackDown storyline, but yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff you can do. You can purchase like legends because we have a lot of cash, and you can also go to the lockers to like do other stuff. I guess has to change your costume and whatnot and you can also upgrade your training which we don't really need to because everything's maxed out and yeah you can just uh check out all your other accomplishments so i really do like uh a lot of the stuff that you could do especially with customizing your locker i don't know about this way please you've got to reconsider eugene's uncle eric bischoff has a history of trying to crush eugene's spirits eugene loves his title more than life itself and the fact that i can't defend my heart is a perfect excuse for him to strip us of our titles and hurt eugene again but filling in for you as a tag team champion that's a huge responsibility if you don't do this you might as well hand the titles to those miserable toe rags edge and christian i don't know about you but i refuse to reward those two with a championship for crippling their opponents That'd hardly be sporting, would it? Yeah, but... You faced Christian last week. Tonight, it's you versus Edge. You've scouted both men, and our title defense is tomorrow night at Taboo Tuesday. You're the only one who can help us. Okay. All right. I'll do it. There's a top man. Thank you. Eugene, you make sure you accompany him to ringside tonight, and pay no attention to that scrubber Trish Stratus. Don't allow her to distract you from the matter at hand. Despite the injury to William Regal, the tag titles will be on the line tomorrow night at Taboo Tuesday. That's if Regal's replacement makes it through his match tonight against Edge. Okay, a couple things. Uh, one, he said, William Regal said that this isn't like the sporting way to like kind of hand over the titles to people who crippled like their opponent. It's coming from William Regal, a guy who uses brass knuckles to win his matches. Uh, anyway, and also that little part at the end where JR's like, the tag titles will still be on the line tomorrow night at Taboo Tuesday. He said that in the last cutscene, so that's kind of a botch right there from the THQ people. But anyway, we got a match Connor O'Neill versus the Rated R Superstar Edge. This ought to be some. There's gotta be some nonsense in this match. In, in this match, I can't talk now. Dang it! Okay, one on one against the Rated R Superstar Edge. Let me actually move this camera back just a little bit. Sorry, I just want to make sure that my camera is all good. Yeah. Okay. Now let's just. Oh, I don't know why I'm going for a reversal there. I'm trying to grapple this dude. I'm sure, Edge is gonna be a lot tougher than Christian. Christian's a little bit more sneaky, especially with his reversals, but, uh, you know, Edge, I feel like, is going to be a little bit more tougher of an opponent, but you never know. So we hit him with another half-and-half half suplex. I just, I keep doing that a lot. Don't know why, but just how it is. And hit him with a little mounted punch. I know they technically count it as a dirty move, but, you know, I just like punching people in the face. I mean, I don't get why... People have a problem with that as I go for a victory roll already. Trying to end this match early. One counts. Sometimes, again, it is tough to reverse a grapple or a strike because you never know if they're going to 
either like grapple you. Usually they do grapple you from behind, but they can also do some striking too, which is what makes it a little bit more difficult. Let's hit him with a little leg drop. I like that how it's like spraying legs like, oh no, he's gonna kick him like the gut or you know, his special area, but like, no, he instead he actually goes to the, uh, ooh, back body drop. He goes and jumps over and hits a leg drop. I always thought that move was really cool, especially in video games. I don't know if people do that in real life, but they should. You know, if you're athletic enough to pull it off, you know, definitely go for it. Because that move would get would pop the crowd without question. Pump handle driver, the Magnum driver, boom. I actually remember the name now. That's coming back to me. Oh, another modification of that back body drop or back suplex. Spinning wheel kick, something Edge used to do. Not anymore. It is kind of weird seeing Edge with Trish instead of Edge with, you know, Lita. I don't know, it just kind of feels a little awkward. Ah, come on. Mistimed that reversal. But again, it's a whole Team Canada thing, so... Hey, why not go for it? It does make sense. It's also not the first tag team that Trish Stratus probably uh, managed. I mean, not obviously this didn't happen in real life, but she did... Uh, not with this tag team with Edge and Christian, but she did manage Test and Alba, remember TNA? Not like the actual other wrestling company, but you know, the wrestling group. Uh, back suplex, boom. No wonder you were a very special person. Okay, I should not be making jokes about that. That's just kind of messed up. Hey, hey, referee, you gotta get this Jezebel out of here. She is ruining a fantastic contest between two great athletes. Ooh, hitting Edge with his own spear. Take that. And a top rope moonsault. Cover. One. Uh, one count. Where am I going to steal his move? Right here. Ooh, execution. Right on Edge. I think it's called the execution. Let's just go for a cover. Let's see if that'll work. One. Two. Oh, we pinned him. Oh, my God. I'm spitting everywhere. I'm sorry. Wow, we beat a dude with his own finishing move. Oh, Edge has got to be so upset just being completely savage, my character. Oh, good lord almighty. Hey, you can't do that to the diva of the decade. I'm sure he'd prefer not to, but she has no right to leave Eugene on like she's been doing. Trish, look out! Oh my gosh, look at what he just did to Trish. You mean look at what Edge just did to Trish. If I didn't know better, I'd say Eugene seems more concerned about Trish Stratus than his own partner. Can you blame him, JR? I should go down there and see if Trish needs mouth to mouth and maybe some CPR. Oh boy. Everything went perfectly last week. Trish, for a moment, I thought you were actually hurt. Hey, I'm the WWE Women's Champion. I'm tougher than I look. And if you boys stick with the plan, you'll be the World Tag Team Champions and we'll all be wearing gold when we leave here tonight. Yeah, now all we have to do is take that dunce Eugene out of the picture, which shouldn't be too hard. I mean, he's not exactly a rocket scientist, you know? <laughs> I'd be surprised if he could lace up his own boots. Christian. And ugly. Man, the toughest part of the match will be having to look at him up close. Hello. Um, uh, I I'm sorry you got hurt yesterday, Trish. Are, are you okay? Yes. yes, thank you. That's very sweet, Eugene. But you don't have to apologize. It wasn't your fault. Actually, Eugene, if anyone's got to apologize, it's me. I'm sorry I accidentally hurt William Regal two weeks ago. Sorry. I didn't realize he tapped out. I didn't expect him to give up so easily. Guess he's not as tough as I thought he was, eh? Yeah, but... You know who should be apologizing? Your so-called friend for hitting poor Trish last night. Is that the kind of partner you want? Is that the kind of person you consider a friend, Eugene? Someone who hits girls from behind? Um, um, no. I'd like to be your friend, Eugene. Would you like to be friends with little old me? Um, uh... 
Yeah. <laughs> Good boy. Now, come with me. I've got something to discuss with you. I don't believe it. How could Trish even stand to be around that, that Eugene? She has a heart of gold, that's for sure. If that Jezebel has a heart, it's fool's gold, if you ask me. No good's going to come of this. I can guarantee you that. 